What's going on, Vikings fans? Welcome into Vikings Now by Chat Sports. Coming up on today's show, we're going to be diving into the possibility of the Vikings possibly extending TJ Hawkinson, KJ Osborne, and Kirk Cousins. Those are the three biggest names floated around in the latest Vikings rumors amongst players that could get extended. And then we'll also touch on uh, Justin Jefferson because, you know, another day goes by this summer and he is still yet to be, ex uh, to be extended. But before we hop into that, guys, give me a follow on Twitter. If you want to up your Vikings coverage on that platform, I'll be your go-to guy. If you just want overall more Minnesota Vikings content on your feed, give me a follow at Pat Seatman there on Twitter. And if you do so, you'll get a shout out on tomorrow's video. So hit me up on Twitter and give me a follow and we can talk some Vikings football. But the first player we're going to be diving into is extending the tight end, TJ Hawkinson, who we traded for at last year's NFL trade deadline from the division rival Detroit Lions. But last year with the Vikings, man, he was fantastic. Like, TJ was one of the more underrated players amongst this Vikings roster who contributed to the 13-win season last year. I mean, racking up just over 914 yards, six touchdowns on the year, and he was a beautiful threat to have and just kind of a safety blanket on third downs for the quarterback, Kirk Cousins. I mean, countless occasions when it was third and seven, third and six, any type of third and medium situation – Kirk found 87. He found his man, Hawk. That's why his numbers look so good. 914 yards with 10.6 yards per catch. But if we're talking about extending Hawk, we got to look at the other tight ends in the league. We got to get some sort of base to go off of. And here's the top five tight ends in the NFL. Darren Waller has that number one spot right now at 17 mil. And then we move to George Kittle at 15. And then guys like Kelsey, Goddard, and Mark Andrews are around that $14 million range. And that's kind of where I expect TJ Hawkinson to fall into. I wouldn't give him more than 15 on an average annual salary. I would like it to be more of a 14 year or 14 per year deal. I mean, I would I would give him three years, you know, whatever figure you want, but have it around the 14 million dollar range. That's where I think Hawk is going to be most likely slated into if you compare him to other tight ends. And I think he's a top five guy in the league. Obviously, Travis Kelsey gets that number one nod, and then you would probably have to go to George Kittle at number two. But if you open it up to the third best tight end in the NFL, you could throw in like a Mark Andrews, you know, a Derek. Aaron Waller when he's fully healthy, but I think TJ Hawkinson is right up there with him. But I'll ask you guys, I want you guys to be completely honest with me. Is TJ Hawkinson a top five tight end in the NFL right now? I'm going to make this to pin comment on today's video. So YouTube's going to throw an ad break your way. Answer that question. Is TJ Hawkinson a top five tight end? Give me a Y for yes or give me an N for no. Second player we'll be diving into today. Wide receiver, my man, K.J. Osborne. One of my favorite players, you know, ever since, you know, becoming a Vikings fan. K.J.'s been that one guy that I've been really able to, you know, wrap my arms around and just been a fan of his game over his first three seasons in the league. But actually, Ryan Heckman, he dropped an article on the Vikings Wire talking about the possible K.J. Osborne extension, and he had some good thoughts about it. He said over the last two seasons, Osborne has been able to amass at least 650 receiving yards scoring five touchdowns in 2022 and seven in 2021. Ask any team around the league, and most would tell you they take those numbers out of their wide receiver three in a heartbeat, and I think that's completely true. He followed on to say, now before he hits the open market next year, Osborne should get an extension from Minnesota to be able to have he, Jefferson, and Addison now for the foreseeable future gives them a young, multi-talented type of trio at wide receiver. I completely agree with what Ryan's saying. I mean, if we could lock up Jefferson, Addison, Osborne for the next three seasons, that would give the Vikings a tremendous three-headed monster at that wide receiver spot. But like you said, Osborne was pretty solid last year. And not only was he the third option in, out of the you know wide receivers for the Vikings, he was realistically the fourth option overall. I mean, we had TJ Hawkinson. Thielen, Jefferson, all amassing more targets than Osborne last year. And with the fourth most amount of targets from a receiving standpoint for the Vikes, he put up 650 yards, and he was tremendous in that Indianapolis Colts game when he amassed 150 yards and was a huge reason why the Vikings came back. But like, uh, but like uh, Ryan was saying, I think the Vikings would have a three-headed monster here with Jefferson, Addison, and Osborne. If you could lock those three guys up for the next couple of seasons – Man, I would absolutely love that. And that's why I'm in the standpoint, lock him up. Don't even let him hit that market. 
get Osborne in here, have him be the wide receiver three for the Vikes for the next couple of seasons. Because, hey, him and Jefferson, both coming off their first three years in the league, they're only going to keep on getting better. Like, we haven't even seen the max potential out of a guy like KJ. And I'm, that's what I'm just excited to see what he's got. I mean, the fifth rounder out of Miami, he was one of my uh, you know favorite players in that year's draft class. And he's kind of lived up to that hype of being you know a fifth rounder. Honestly, he's, you know, he's over exceeded that in my opinion. So I'd lock KJ Osborne up. We'll ask you guys, how much per year would you give KJ Osborne? This is the question. I would probably give him around that eight to nine. That's normally what a high end wide receiver three goes for. But let me know down in the comments section or answer today's question, how much would you give Osborne per year? Third player we're talking about it, it's QB1, it's the main man, it's Kirk Cousins, or Kirko Thuggins, whatever you want to call him, but, you know, Kirk, he's got one year left on this, uh, or during, on his Vikings contract for $35 million, so we got to talk about it. Are the Vikes potentially going to extend him? From a productivity standpoint, there's really not a lot of quarterbacks that you could put up with these numbers. Like, I understand the shortcomings with Kirk, you know, winning the big game, winning the playoff game. But just from a stats perspective, man, he has been dominant over his four years with the Vikes. I mean, almost 30 touchdowns each season with around 10 interceptions. And we all know he's been an incredibly accurate quarterback during his time in the NFL. And that's what sticks out to me. That's uh, with what's on your screen right now is that completion percentage, you know, 69.1, 67.6. 66.3 and 65.9. Kirk's been one of the more accurate quarterbacks in the NFL over his entire NFL career. But Kirk's contract situation, where it stands right now, it's just a one-year $35 million deal. And I think the question is for GM Quasi Adolfo Mensa and head coach Kevin O'Connell is going to be, should we extend Kirk or do we rip that Band-Aid off and try and go find our franchise quarterback? I don't think it's going to come down to the numbers. I think it's going to come down to the Vikings winning games. I think if Kirk Cousins wants to be the quarterback for the Vikings for the foreseeable future, the Vikings at least have to make that divisional round. And I think if he wants to get a multi-year extension, I think it's going to probably have to be the NFC Championship game. I think the Vikings are kind of st uh, sick of this kind of limbo state they're in where it's good and not great. It's the NFL purgatory where you're not bad enough to draft in the top five and go get a franchise quarterback, but you're not good enough to compete for Super Bowls. And Kirk Cousins... He's the definition of mid by that standpoint. I mean, he's probably anywhere between the 10th to 15th best quarterback. So maybe the Vikings kind of get uh, you know, sick of being in that middle of the pack, and they say, you know what, rip this bandit off, we'll move off Kirk. But I'll ask you guys this question. Do you want Kirk Cousins as the QB of the Vikings next season? Obviously, a lot of it will come down to how he is going to play this upcoming year. But as it sits right now, answer that question. Do you want Kirk as the QB of the Vikings next season? Honorable mention, the wrap up today's show, it's the best wide receiver in football. It's the best weapon in football, and his name is Justin Jefferson. Still no update on it. You know, the last update we got was about a month ago coming from Jeremy Fowler, and he said the Vikings are in no rush to extend Justin Jefferson, and I completely disagree. My whole take on the Jefferson contract extension, get it done now. There is no negative to, uh, you know, getting this done early rather than later because if you kind of push this check and keep pushing it down the line, he, his price is only going to keep on going up. And I pray the Vikings, don't let Jamar Chase get extended before Jefferson does. Because whatever Jamar Chase gets, Jefferson's going to turn to the Vikings and turn to his agent and said, I want more than, that, more than that. I'm a better wide receiver. I'm the better player. So why not just extend him right now, get it done? I just really don't see the benefit of waiting right now. Like, obviously, you don't want to, you know you know, overpay for a guy, you know, by extending him or by extending him early. But Jefferson is giving you no reason not to fully believe and fully give your trust in him being a franchise player and just an overall, you know, face of the franchise for the Vikes in the foreseeable future. So keep your eyes and ears out for a possible Jefferson extension coming this summer. And hey, if he does get extended, we'll have a video for you guys ASAP. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Stay in the loop of all Minnesota Vikings news and rumors. I want to be your go-to guy and your go-to Minnesota Vikings YouTube channel. Lock us in, hit that subscribe button, and as always, Skull Vikes.